widows are to be looked after and cared for rather than looked at as non-entities. This was the focal point of a summit organized by the Ajoke Aisat Afolabi Foundation to highlight the issues affecting widows and the less privileged in the society. Speaking at the event, former First Lady of Lagos State, Abimbola Fashola, represented by the Aderunke Ubuntu Imbo, called on everyone to see to the plight of widows in order to alleviate their sufferings. Others advised the government to create an enabling environment for foundations with the aim of helping the less privileged to thrive. In Nigeria, we are, we are largely diverse and every culture, every religion has their own way of dealing with widow and taking care of widows. So I think a, a program like this brings it to platform, to our opponents, for people to discuss about it. And they need empowerment in terms of, um, in terms of um, skills, in terms of helping with the children, because it's, only, it's not only training. If you train a woman, if you teach a woman how to make beads, if the beads cost, let's say, 5,000, can 5,000 a month send four children to school? What we can do to improve the life of the widows in Nigeria is by assisting them, you know, and um, not only uh, individuals can be doing it, the government too can come in and see how they can achieve the existing foundations that are helping the widows. Many people will look upon the government, we are all members of the government. And calling upon government that supports us, come and give us, they cannot give money. But government in the different ways are supporting. Look at Lagos State for example, which I'm very familiar with. We have our Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation. And if you see the kind of programs they run, they are touching lives. They are touching many women that they are touching their lives are widows.